It's about 10 to 11 and we're just uh, waiting for our cast to arrive for a read through. It's going to be a really exciting day, really uh, excited to get the cast together and to kind of go through the script. We're going to be talking uh, about all the different characters and their relationships to each other and then go through the script scene by scene. Um, the idea is to sort of get me to a place where I can then go off and do a final rewrite on the script uh, based on what's come out of the session and what input the actors have given me to the script and to their characters. Uh, so it should be a really exciting day. So thank you all for coming, really appreciate it. The main kind of purpose of why we got this read through together was one, so you guys could all meet each other, um, and then basically just for us to kind of talk through the script and talk through the characters, and then kind of get you involved a little bit in the development process, sort of go for a read through and sort of stop after each scene and discuss that scene, and see how it feels. Pete, this is Bobby. Hey. Oh. And it must be Bobby. Tom. Yeah, gathered. Thanks. Did we wake you? I don't know how you can read this stuff. You know, I tried to once, but I don't think I'm wired that way. Uh, I prefer to read lighter stuff. <laughs> Finally, someone normal. Hi. <laughs> it's about a leap of faith or something, isn't it? Um, I'm still bringing it up, but yeah, I think so. But no. I mean, it's actually about the absurdity of religion and... Uh, it's too hardcore for me, man, that's for sure. Nothing else would matter anymore, and you could totally live for the day and put two fingers up to all of it. Not true. It so doesn't work like that. Tom does have a point. Trust you to agree with him. Well, Thinking about death gives us perspective on life. Knowing that you're going to die must offer some kind of clarity. God, you guys, seriously. So, you're probably wondering, yes, they are always like this. <laughs> okay. So does anyone want to say anything about that scene? When she says, you're probably wondering, like, are they always like this? Yeah. Like, we kind of, it, it feels like, you know, we've not been embarrassing, but, you know, I think that I there's know. an element of Tom that feels a little bit embarrassed because Claire's obviously like looking down a little bit on it. So he's always thinking mm. about that in his head of like just sort of trying to impress Claire a little bit. From what we see of them in the script, it's obviously yeah. like these are the type of things that they do on a regular basis. I suppose it means what does that die mean to you as well because yeah. people, people say it, was, it could send you into a spin. I know, but I think people are different. I think people are attached to things differently, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think for that line, Pete should take it into the abstract. I think it needs to be more along those lines. So if he takes it to the abstract... Because he's trying to enlist them to his way of thinking. Jane, obviously when Bob is talking about his ex-girlfriend, yeah. she's a bit upset because it's so kind of casual. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I find it insensitive when people mention exes anyway. I think it's like, why are you talking about your ex? You're not <laughs> 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 no, I, I think that works because again, it's that kind of slightly negative, slightly yeah. casual act. Uh, attitude towards your ex, it basically gives Jay's anxiety and motivation beyond what happened with her and Ross. Yeah. It also means that there is something within Bobby that gives her the impression that, that kind of justifies her. I need to remove from people who've never met before, obviously cares about this girl. I don't know how, uh, not, if he should be nervous about coming into this. Well, so what time is it, this scene? Like, Midday, possibly after lunch. I don't know. Well, possibly. Midday? Like, yeah, it's kind of... I've just well, woken up. Because basically, like, yeah, because you've just woken up. <laughs> and they've basically, like, just woken up and had breakfast. Obviously, Claire's been out buying flowers. <laughs> See, another mm. stuff. Pete's been up reading for a few hours. So okay. it's probably Sunday morning, maybe. Like Sunday morning, okay. Sunday. You know, it starts on a Saturday and ends on a Friday. It's exactly seven days. Mm.